What is history? The word history comes from the ancient Greek word histo, meaning know this, in Greek, I know. Also meant I have seen, and historio came from to mean learn by inquiry. The Greeks thought that the only way to know something was to either see it for themselves or ask questions about it. The Greek historian Thucydides wrote that too many people often believed at f the first story they heard. Ancient Greeks understood the essence of history. First, historical knowledge must be based on evidence. Second, history is not one story, but several. Third, everything must be checked for mistakes. Historians try to find out not only what happened, but why it happened. History has come to mean many things. It is an account of past events and sequence of time. It is the study of events, their causes and results. And it is all that is preser preserved or remembered about the past. For evidence, historians use written accounts, artifacts such as weapons and tools, and spoken accounts. To remember something, people write it down or mark it in some way. This is because events, even important ones, disappear from memory or become confused. Our lives may seem different from people's lives in the past, but some things have not changed. Roman roads are still used every day, and games like chess were played centuries ago. Local History Oral history is a good source of local history. Listening to the recollections of older people, looking at their photographs, and sharing their memories reveals a lot about the past. Family history is a branch of local history. Photographs of family members may reach back as far as the great-great-grandparents. Important family events were often recorded in front of the local family Bible. Local record offices store diaries, letters, census returns, old photographs, records of large estates, school textbooks, and business accounts that from firms that have long stopped trading. Church records give details of baptisms, marriages, and funerals. The work of historians. The first real historian was Herodotus. He used the Greek word historia to mean investigation. Although Herodotus was writing at a time when everyone believed their lives were controlled by the gods, he also looked for rational explanations and was the first person to look at the cause and effect of events. Sometimes history is written by those who play a major part in it. Julius Caesar wrote about the wars in Gaul, and Winston Churchill wrote about World War I and II. Not all historians witness the events they write about. Most depend on accounts and documents produced at the time. Those who write history should always be aware of any bias and prejudice in themselves and in other writers. Bias means being influenced by a particular point of view and prejudice literally means judging before, before all facts have been looked at. Historians also have to avoid the mistake of writing about the past if all events were leading with a fixed purpose to the present. The work of archaeologists. Archaeology is the field of study of the peoples of the past left by scientific analysis of the things they leave behind. Archaeologists study objects, features, and seeds, or animal bones. Archaeology can tell us about societies that existed before written records were made, and add to our knowledge of civilized societies. Archaeologists treat the things they find as clues to the lives of the people who use them. They can sometimes discover the reasons for great changes in the societies they are studying. Kathleen Kenyon Digging at the site of Jericho in 1952 found that its walls were destroyed in biblical times, but by fire, not by the sound of trumpets. Archaeology can often present historians with evidence that makes them re-examine their views of early societies. In 1939, at Sutton Hoo in England, the remains of an Anglo-Saxon treasure ship were discovered. The artifacts found there are evidence of a society of the so-called Dark Ages that are far from primitive. Since the 1950s, archaeologists have been concerned with finding general theories that explain the changes that occur in human societies. They now try to find out why farming developed in Mexico around 7000 BC, or why the first cities grew in the Near East. Computers can be used to process the statistics, and they have made the sort of study much faster and more efficient. Artifacts such as coins, pottery, tools, and weapons 
are sometimes found in great abundance. Studying them can add to our knowledge of social and military history. Ecofacts, such as animal bones, skins, and plant seeds, help identify the jobs people did and what they ate. Pictures and paintings can also provide valuable information. We can tell a lot about what people looked like and what they did from cave paintings, frescoes, portraits, and pictures in stained glass. So this is the start of a new series. Uh, hopefully they're all going to be around five minutes, and I'm going to give you guys another one tomorrow. We're going to start with the ancient world. Peace out, guys.